everybody, Steve Christensen here again, working in the shop, still working on the Hope chest. I've been adding some of the epoxy I told you about earlier. So this was cracked and gapped and had crevices. So I'm applying this black epoxy and it's overflowed a little right here. This gets sanded and then only the parts that needed to be filled will be exposed and it'll be a great thing. You have to take it in stages. I'm on my fifth uh, application. Here's one of the legs. You can still see it has gaps that need to be filled. So I take it in stages. You can't just fill it all at once. This is what I'm using. Resin hardener. This is useless without this. This is useless without this. The two have to work together. Neither one of them will get hard on their own. Spill them all over the ground, they'll never get hard unless they mix at the right proportion. And this is the black tint that I use. So all three of these things together work to accomplish a goal. They're useless without each other. And there's an awful lot of truth in that, even in the Bible. When it comes to the church and the members, the church is essentially useless if it doesn't have different members. Remember in uh, Romans 12, 4, it says, For just as we have many members in one body, and all the members do not have the same function, so we, who are many, are one body in Christ and individually members one of another. And since we have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let each exercise them accordingly in prophecy, according to the proportion of his faith. We need to work together. When we work together, we, uh, we accomplish the will of God. That's why it's hard to be just, uh, just a Christian on your own. Um, we have to work together. And right now we're having a hard time meeting together because of this virus that's going around. But that doesn't mean we can't be still one body, working together, one mind, helping each other, different members doing different things. In my workshop here, you'll probably notice that I was working on a tool. That's my joiner. Next to it's a sander. Over here's my chop saw. I have uh, these drills. I have hammers, I have measuring tapes, I have all kinds of tools. They all serve different functions, or they may serve the same function, but in a different way, in a different quantity or an amount. So that's the way the church is. That's the way we need to work together. In uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 12, it says, uh, For even as the body is one, and yet has many members, and all the members of the body, though they are many, are one body, so also is Christ. We can't say, well, I'm not an I, so I'm no good. I want to be the I. Well, we already maybe have the I. You need to be the ear, which God created you to be. God is equipping you to be for him what he wants and what he needs. We need to be accepting to that. Now, also in the Ephesian letter, we're in chapter 4, verse 11, and he gave some as apostles, some as prophets, some as evangelists, some as pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of service to the building up of the body of Christ. We are equipped. We have been given tools. We are the tools of Christ. We need to be working, not getting just dusty like a lot of my stuff's getting dusty. So that's my encouraging word for today. I'll keep you informed on the progress of the hope chest as we go forward. In the meantime, stay safe. God loves you. I love you. God bless.